Well, we promise we'll be back here on Monday morning, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Welcome. Good morning, Nigeria, and to our very loyal listeners, or rather viewers. Hopefully, you've had a great weekend. You've stumbled back into radio again this morning. Yeah, well, radio was my, was my past. TV is my future. <laughs> and this is the I show that forward. holds uh, uh, <laughs> great possibilities in different ways. Yes, Food, indeed. fashion, whatever you need. And uh, we're back here again this Monday morning to bring you something really special. My name is Yomi Uwobi. And I'm Titi Lara Onison. This is the breakfast show of all breakfast shows. Don't forget, we're streaming live, tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect. Please give us your comments. We can't wait to see them. Use our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria. All right. And uh, our darling chef is back. Mm -hmm. Free stuff. All the way, no. <laughs> Chef Ofe. No, no, no. It's no. all free and no. all good on the show. Actually, Welcome. Emma in the kitchen. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing? How's your weekend, oh, people? Well, hey, it was one of those weekends where I snoozed most of it. <laughs> I snoozed. In fact, I hit the snooze button so many times. But we're going to be starting off the week in a very high note. We're going to be pushing you forward with motivation. Abiola Champ Salami will be discussing how to maximize the rest of 2018. Yeah, sounds like a good one. Also, Nigerian artist uh, Showboy, I like that name, <laughs> will be here to begin the week with us with a special musical performance. That's not all. You need to look out for our business discussion as well. We'll have Trisha Beers, the business expert. Now, she's going to be telling us or shedding more light on tips that you can use to make better sales during the holiday season. And coming up later on on the show, MM will be giving you some uh, simple tips for easier life hacks. Yes, indeed. <laughs> That's not all. Of course, we'll be taking you down memory lane this week. Uh, of course, uh, talking about this week in history. Mm -hmm. All right. And for social media, really, the first Monday of December, we're all asking, how can we make this Christmas superb for you? Wake Up Nigeria has got something up our sleeves. And of course, you can never tell. It may make a dream come true just for you. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think about fake social media love? Uh, <laughs> is it really, f is it fake? Fake social media love. Uh, fake social media. Yeah, okay. Social media love. What were you people doing over the weekend? You know, see in here, do blasting them on your bully. Really? Oh, yeah, over, I saw that. Over, yeah, uh, over not Uche because Jumbo. she did not attend um, Uche Jumbo's um, yes, now. movie premiere. Yes, and now. I'm like, why? Come on. Like. Bestie, bestie. No, that, no, it was very cool. I, I, everybody loved, unanimous. There was unanimous love for Iniedo. Mm. She came out. She didn't pull any punch. She, she just went up straight up. She hit it hard. She tagged and said, look, man. That is not forgetting. I saw it. you in the comment section. It went like, <laughs> no, I was very like, excited. Like yeah, social, yeah, I was Mike very excited. Yeah, I was very excited. like a social media prostitute. I was very, tour. very excited. He's like air on every. <laughs> Okay, so I always try to avoid commenting on other people's, you know, because, so that you don't want to be found wanting of course, Titi. one day. We know you I don't avoid like commenting to. on these things, but mm. sometimes it does feel very fake. You know, you get some people telling you, oh, I've been following you since, since you started, since who be that girl? I've been watching, whereas that's probably the only thing they, they ever heard about you from the yeah, past, you yeah. know? So in the end, fake social so media. So yeah, that's what you know, social media. What do you yeah. think about a, a case study? It was straight it out, straight out what happened there. What do you think about it? And then let's know what, are you, what your plans are for Christmas. Let, uh, get those comments coming in. We'll be taking them to turn on air. But then something big happened this, hap uh, happened this weekend for me. It was very big for Africa. Mm. And it, it, it is supposed to be very big for Nigeria. Mm. It was the uh, global, global citizen, citizen 100 um, celebration. celebration. 100 oh, for Mandela. Mandela's 100th posthumous birthday. Mm. And then a group of individuals coming together to pull resources and funds to say, OK, we want to end extreme poverty. poverty. Considering that we are the poverty capital of the world, mm. I think this is big for Africa and also for Nigeria. So it was big. I mean, See, the highlight was, was, was on yeah. the, uh, it was yeah. it was massive. The highlight was Beyonce and Jay Z. Mm. The word she said, she said, <laughs> "Look, say we are here for you. I'm glad to be back home and all of that." It resonated. We, we should do some uh, do some <laughs> report on that. We would, we would, we would. It was yeah. it was massive. Like I moments. felt, yeah. you know, the FNB stadium was so big. I felt uh, there was this kind of. 
this is me watching live. I imagine for those that were there. Right there yeah. It was it was big. It was a celebration of Africa. It was a celebration of a life mm. of somebody who who gave who gave of himself so much that there was nothing really left of him. And then, you know, for the cause that it is, I mean that's that's I mean what what other cause is greater than any than, poverty? Yeah. Extreme True. poverty. So True. big shout out to Global Citizen Hundred. That was a big one. We'll definitely get a report Beautiful on concert. that. Very nice. On that. Uh, it was it was big great. Nigerian acts were there. Fair yeah. Pretty. Yeah. Uh, Tiwa Savage. Savage. Held it down. Winskid yeah, was Whiskey, there. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Very they held it down. And then, of course, the Evergreen. Look, uh, this guy, what's his name now? Pharrell is really 43 oh, or 44. Goodness me. <laughs> he looks so young. Dude is like a 15-year-old like or something. Yeah. And then he goes with the Evergreen song. song because yeah. I'm happy. Man, yeah. that, song, eh? that song is for life. That's Evergreen. <laughs> so he goes with the whole song and everybody says, so he comes twice. He comes later on on Beyonce set. It was, it was, it was really electric yeah mm. something else very good something else very good. i can't wait to see highlights of that maybe later on on the show or maybe another day but So let's go. Accumulator. You know now, accumulator. We must always repeat the first exercise before we go to the next one. Yeah, let's see where we are going to. Where are we going to? Ah. Oh yeah, now let's do this. Are we ready? Get into speed. Get a little bit wide. And now, stay low. Side launch. 20 seconds. I have the time. Don't bother yourself about time. Just keep doing what I'm doing. Good form, good form. If you're getting tired, just rest. Room one, room one. Uh, we split it and we stay low with the lunch. Seven seconds to go. No shaking. <laughs> no yama yama. Ah, uh, we are there. Room one. Go to room two. No way. Go back to room one. That is why we call it an accumulator. Back to room one before we go to room two. Back to that split. Come on. I want a full extension. Inside, outside. Our doctor muscles are working. Come on. You know how we break. We have to break fast before we start going in. Come on, come on, come on, I know you're wet. The body's talking to itself, come on. Come in. Ah, uh, yeah. Room two now can happen. Yeah, we're gonna go into the plant with the two side with it. With a lateral movement with it. Come on. Make sure your core is breath. You're breathing in and out. Oh, if you don't have more space, <laughs> just go back to the other way. Come on, 10 seconds. 14 down. 15 down, 10 down. 17 down, 18 down, 20. Uh, don't they get me? Oh. Room three, come on. Room three, no way, you know now. Room one, room two, then we'll go to room three. Back to room one. That's why we call it an accumulator. Come on, come on, make sure you're pretty in and out. A lot of oxygen in You know that this leg, eh? a lot of <laughs> blood flows to that leg. Come on. Come on, we can do this. It's Monday. It's Monday, Monday things. Oh God, oh God, you saw? Puto, puto. Come on, come on. Ready it down. Room two. Come on, we are getting close. Back to that plank. Back to the two side plank. Whatever you want to call it. That one plank with my palm. On my palm with the palm. With the plank, and I'm doing the lateral movement with it. No, take it with you. Come on, put it down. What did you bring to the game this morning? It's it. Ready? See, let me quickly tell you something. Room three, Abby. Final room. I'm gonna do this squat jump. Please, 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 please. If you advance, do this. If you're not, just give me my squat to what? Trust, I call it the TBS. Advance now, yeah. 20, let's see what we can get out of this. Time. Hey, don't jump down, mate. We don't want to holler. Are you there? I'm coming up, beginners. 30. Come on, 10 seconds to go. Beginner. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Ready? 
Thank God we have time. Now we're going to spike up your cardiovascular system. We're going to hit the abs. According to what's called cardio accelerator. Mountain climber plus one with the hold. 10 seconds. Get ready. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Five. No time to rest. Get into the hold. Yes. Put that in. 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 This morning, see, remember, your body is the engine. Your mind is the engineer. <laughs> Pichu, your mommy has said so. Are you ready to take over? It's a new month, my people. Happy new month. And Susan. OK, thank you very much, Tony, for that, you know, rigorous exercise routine yep. this morning. All right, so here we are in the kitchen. And we've got amazing stuff, guys. Like. Yep. We yep. are reeling from all the excitements mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. about to prepare you, gang. Yeah. There's no Watching. pepe here, Shasha. But there's no <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Chef Ofe this morning mm -hmm. is making rejuvenated rice. She's about to wake up some yes. sleeping, sleeping rice. rice. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> So basically, okay, so it just means when you have leftover, let's say for, from dinner, you had left. Mm. Allow me now. No, that's a girl. I'm <laughs> that look on your thing. face. Leftover plain rice okay. from dinner. Maybe you had it with stew, yeah. and maybe there's no stew again, mm. and you feel like eating rice, and maybe fried rice. So you just put up some veggies, get together some veggies, right. and create fried rice for. So just rejuvenate. Nicely said. Wake it up. So let's talk about the ingredients because we are about okay. to launch our new cookware. Yeah. So before we get to that, let's talk about our ingredients. Okay, here I have onions and um, grated garlic. Yeah. We have peas. We have meat broth. We have beef. This mm. beef, the part of the cow is um, shin. No, the shin. shin. It's okay. softer. It has a lot of muzzles and tendon, okay. but it's soft here. Then we have sweet corn, red and green bell peppers, carrot, runa beans. Plantain. Plantain. So and on your screen right there are the ingredients, people. So get a pen and paper and scribble them down. So All right. So foods. our friends, yeah. you know, decided to surprise us with this beautiful cookware. Yeah, pretty. Copper-based. Wow. And we love it. it. It works magic, people. It works magic. So um, this cookware, no, you don't use metal spoon against it because it's sophisticated like that. Yeah, you it's get, posh. It's posh. Posh. You know, <laughs> 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 nothing, nothing hard. So you take care of it and pamper it well. Yeah. And we're launching it on set today in our Ta -da. kitchen. And Chef Ofe is doing the hands. Thank you. You're doing the hands. Hans. Not the hands. No hands. Hans. 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 <laughs> Let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to start with frying our beef. Okay. Yeah. This is a very quick meal actually because you just fry, fry, fry and toss oil everything together. Okay. So you don't get to waste your rice. I think this beef would have been really nice if I just um, chopped it. So that you, you, so that you be picking it, <laughs> so that you be picking it one one. <laughs> MM, I know you. I know you. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So when that is ready, what's next? When that is ready. In this, when, that, when this is ready, I take out the meat okay. and fry the plantains. Okay. Then when I'm done with that, of which I can do it side by side though, mm -hmm. I can start frying the veggies for the rice. Okay. Yeah, the veggies, how you fry, okay, when we get there, but normally the veggies you fry all together, mm -hmm. take it out of the pot, then you put the rice and veggies Little by little, oh. little by little, to you mix up the whole. Mix up everything. Yeah. And we are making use of basmati rice. Yes, basmati rice, so. yes. Okay. Yes. You know, uh, okay, so I think we should just get to work with our rice because oh, okay. I mean, I'm sure everyone can fry it meat and everyone can never fry Never say plantain. never. But just in case you can't. Never say <laughs> never. <laughs> well, really, I don't think anyone can. I mean, even those mm -hmm. who can cook, I'm sure they can fry. Hey, never say never. <laughs> Tell you. <laughs> All right. So one of our cameramen is like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't underestimate or overestimate. Right. Yeah, now this is overestimate. So this, when this picks up a little. Okay. All right. So onion. you got to stay tuned, people, because we are going to, we have some amazing information about okay. our cookware this morning or that we're making use of on the show this morning. So you have to stay tuned till the end of the show. We are, you know, saving the best 
for the last, yeah. And like I said, this cookware is like, it's amazing stuff. Copper-based, sophisticated, posh, posh cookware. Mm -hmm. And I think it's relatively affordable too. <laughs> All right. All right, we are going on a quick commercial break. People, there's more on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. Welcome back. It's time for some Monday motivation. Now, even though the year is coming to an end, there is absolutely everything uh, for you to keep your head up and be the best, and make the best of what is left of the year. Abiola's Champ Salami is no stranger here. And as a personal brand development coach, he has a couple of things to say about this. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, we dragged you out of bed as usual. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. So um, usually, you know, it's December. People begin to wind down, you know, they begin to say, oh, we're taking stock. Mm. Um, let's uh, start looking forward to, to 2019. Mm. Now, so there's just uh, about 25 days left in the month. But you are saying that you can still make the best of it. Tell us why. Okay, so uh, let me start with a quote from Buddha, who says that um, the problem is we think we have time. But from my own observation, I realize that in the beginning of the year, we overestimate the time we have. Mm -hmm. And then towards the end of the year, we underestimate the time that we have. 25 days is a long time to mm. do something. It is good to start to take stock, to start a plan for the year. But at the same time, it's important to know that there's still a lot we can achieve within this year, right? So even if there are goals that you are pursuing, you set a goal in the course of the year and you've not achieved it yet, uh, due, to, due to some reasons, you can still continue pursuing, sticking to the process that got you there. I mean, persistence is key. You know, you should just try one more time. Somebody said she wants to get married, for example, in 2018 and does not happen yet hey i'm not saying that within 25 days that you find a man and then <laughs> you get married quick, quick, that's not quick, what i'm quick, saying shop, shop. that's not what i'm saying but what i'm saying is that the process that leads to that marriage i mean that leads to that wedding can, can still happen yeah. so you can stick to it so it's about not giving up not thinking that time has gone not underestimating the power of the 25 days that will still happen there's a there are a lot of things that we can do with this 25 days number one is we can decide to sit down take a stock and reflect on the past 11 months how have i been what have i done you know how for how 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 well have i have i done the things that i said that i would do this year um, what are the factors that helped me to maximize my movement what are those factors that came in as a distraction how do i ensure that in the new year that that doesn't play yeah, that's one good thing to do. Mm -hmm. Another good thing to do, the holidays are here, by the way. Yeah. Another good thing to do, another good thing to do, sorry, mm -hmm. another good thing to do is to make sure that this holiday season that you connect with people. And in connecting with people with Christmas, I'm not saying that anybody should go and um, borrow some money to, to buy fancy things and for Christmas because, you know, when January comes, January is always like four months in a row. Yeah, yes, <laughs> it is four weeks where it looks like four months. Why? Because people have spent a lot of money in December and then you're trying to recoup in January. Yeah. In, 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 and during the holiday season, um, visit people, greet people. You know, people that you probably could not meet with in the course of the year, everybody's busy up and down. So spend time with family. It's part of what will make your new year good and great. It's part of maximizing this moment. Spend time with family, spend time with colleagues. I mean, some business partners, some, some of your prospects as a yeah. salesperson, uh, they probably did not buy your product or your service or your idea this year. Bond is a good time to bond with them. But what we should know is that the next 25 days still offer us great opportunities to set new goals and achieve them within the time to stick to the process that will lead to the achievement of a particular goal and also to keep our relationships. Yeah. Now, there, there are lots of people who said, uh, you see it on social media, I see it everywhere. People are saying 2018 was not a great year for them. Um, maybe they started out well, got such great hopes, many things that they want to achieve and all of that. And now uh, they're hearing you say all this and they're saying, look, I don't really, I'm just looking forward to the new yeah. year. I don't really think I can do that much in, in, um, in 25 days and all of that. What would you say to such people? So it's about hope. Hope and H-O-P, I call it holding on with a persistent expectation. Hope. The moment we give up, the moment we lose hope, that is where we've lost it. Mm. So you started the year on high, on, with high energy on the things that you want to achieve and you keep on pursuing and keep on pursuing and you got hit. Now, when you get hit, it's not the time to relax and sit down. It's to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start to remake yourself to look for other ways to achieve the thing that you said you want to achieve. Yeah. It's about hope. It's about hope. And saying that 2018 is not a great year is perspective. 
for me, <laughs> it's been an absolutely fantastic year. Not because I made all the money that I wanted to make, but because I made some giant strides. I mean, for example, in, in uh, this season, we're celebrating our 10 million champions milestone in our oh, organization. Yeah. Congratulations. You know, thank yeah. you. We're celebrating our 10 million champions milestone in our organization. Not that everything has been easy, not that, um, not that the year handed us all the opportunities. We sought opportunities, but we are still seeking opportunities. So it's about hope, H-O-P, holding on with a persistent expectation, holding on till 31st of December that things will happen, holding on and not giving up at all, at all. Mm. Now talk to us about um, that there are certain people who maybe they're planning for the Christmas season and the New Year celebration specifically, uh, people who own small businesses and they're still looking at making money. You know, we're talking about maximizing mm -hmm. this final mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. What should I do to ensure that, look, I get the maximum, mm. either in finances, in relationships, whatever it is that I'm mm. doing, ensuring that I get the best out of this December. Okay. okay, cool. Now, it depends on the kind of business. Yeah. Some businesses are seasonal. I saw something online funny yesterday that uh, there's a fashion designer somewhere that is taking um, cloth from someone that you will not get it ready before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. He's making a promise. I saw something like that yeah. online yesterday. So it depends on the kind of business. So if you are into fashion designing, you know some people want to buy Christmas cloth. You know, exactly. Yeah. If you are into, um, um, if you're selling maybe um, rice, um, some oil, things that people use this season. Of course, what you want to do is to ensure that before now that you've started marketing them. Right. And even if you've not started the things you can do right now, start engaging them. Um, there are opportunities, you can use social media to reach out to them. You can use many opportunities to reach out to them. Just make sure if your business is seasonal and this season is your season, you want to maximize the moment. Uh, you may probably want to drop your price so that um, more people can patronize you so you increase your profitability. Mm. If your business is not seasonal, Please invest in relationships this period. <laughs> you know, what people do uh, this period, if I just buy a gift or something, a token, send it to people just to let them know that you are thinking about them, that right. you remember them, and gift work wonders. I've seen this happen. And it doesn't matter how big the recipients of that gift is, what most people think of, hey, it's thinking about me. Mm -hmm. Then what you realize is that even in, for those who want to, who, whose businesses are not seasonal and you want to latch on relationship in the new year, you realize that people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Indeed, so indeed. giving gift is, is a way of showing that you care. And then people will want to listen to you some more because it's important you know that you are touching the heart before you ask for your hand. Giving gift is a way of touching the heart before asking for your hand. Wow, thank you so much, Abiola Champs, Alami, for joining us again this morning talking about how to maximize this month of December 2018. No matter how the year has been, you can still do uh, some great things before the end of the year. All right, we'll see you again soon. Hopefully. Definitely. All right, heading over to the kitchen now. I'm sure uh, MM and Chef Ofer have some things uh, going on. All right, thank you very much, Yomi. Talking about giving this season, we are gifting you. This delicious, delicate, we're actually not gifting you like you watching, but <laughs> we are gifting ourselves like here in the why? studio e and our gifts. Yes, e-giving. E <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're watching Wake Up Nigeria, and of course, we're here in the kitchen with Chef Ofe, and this morning we are making rejuvenated rice. rice. And beef. And beef. And dodo. And dodo. Drum roll, dodo. Yeah. And um, where are we at right now? Okay, I'm taking out the beef, mm. which I've have been properly fried. Okay. I'm going to put Toss in. the plantain in. Yeah. Mm. Let that, all that um, seasoning from yeah. the oil just go, go into in. the plantain. All right. So just in case you're wondering what rejuvenated rice is, basically, <laughs> Chef Ofe said earlier on that it's rice from the previous day yeah. that you, are, that she's frying up basically. So um, on your screen right there are the ingredients. Yeah. <clears throat> So we're making use of, you want to go through it? Okay. We had uh, veggies, which consist of um, carrots, runner beans, onions, garlic, bell peppers, red and green bell peppers. And mm. we have peas, we have sweet, sweet corn. corn. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in here, I've put in the onions, the garlic, the carrots, and the runner beans. So I'm going to add in the bell peppers. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, have you noticed our new cookware? Yeah. Doesn't it look lovely? I just want to keep on cooking and cooking and cooking right. and cooking and cooking. Chef, I want to sleep here. <laughs> yeah, I want to. <laughs> I won't go home. <laughs> yeah, these are the kind of cookwares you just, you know. Yeah. You want to have make love to. Emin, <laughs> you have been at it. They since actually morning. look really good. Come on now, look at this you cookware. You have been at it. It's non-stick. <laughs> it's stress-free. It looks like it's stress-free. Uh -uh. 
you said something now. All right, great. Are you trying to I'm just going to share. I'm just crazy about the pants. I really love them. Like, come on, look at them now. You're look crazy about the pants. Yeah, I love the pants. Everything I've been seeing since, they have one they kind of good. undertone somewhere. No, you're the one who's, I don't know PG where you're getting PG rated, <laughs> PG rated. <laughs> All right, so yeah, basically, I just want to sell this, um, not sell it, like sell it, but I just want to... Um, Loud it. Yeah, you know, sound the alarm yeah, yeah. But regarding really nice the cookware. Though. Yeah, it is naturally nice, it's and really it's copper-based, nice. and it just makes well, cooking easier, and I guys. I realize that no matter the quantity of oil mm. you put in it, because it's non-stick, yeah. it still keeps it fresh yeah, it and looking yeah. good. Yeah. So um, stay tuned for more on our cookware till the end of the show, guys. We have some amazing and fantastic information about the cookware that you don't want to miss out on. So you got to stay tuned for it. All right. So where's our rejuvenated rice? Why are you saying that in a sarcastic No, I'm mean, No, I'm not being sarcastic. I, I'm not looking up, but I can see your face. There's a snare on your... I said it. <laughs> Why? I knew. I knew. I, knew. I said okay. it. <laughs> okay, well, no, but seriously, where are we actually with our rice? Okay. So the bell pepper, I just, I just want them to infuse a little. But those actually look really good. Yeah. I'm liking all that color. Yeah. It reminds me of rainbow. Rainbow, there's no yellow. There's no purple. Yeah, whatever. So how does it but it's a combination purple? of a lot of colors. There's no green. Yeah, there's green. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what's next? Quickly, because we, we got to move on. I'm going to put in a, like one seasoning cube. OK. So basically. Remember that the, your rice has a bit of salt. Mm. When, you, when you boiled it the day before, so they'll have, have come with a bit of salt. Mm. So you have to be easy. easy. Okay, when, when using your salt. Yeah, so okay. this white pepper and thyme. So basically we're just tossing in our rice. Yeah. And we're good to go, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So um, um, this is... One step, but not um, together. Together. Yeah. Okay, so you just keep in tossing batches. them intermittently. Yes, like, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, so amazing stuff happening here in the kitchen, guys. But we're going on a quick commercial break. There's more on Wake Up Nigeria. Stay with us. All right, time for us to take a trip down memory lane. All right, yes, indeed. Now, uh, December 5th, this week in history, in 1791, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart uh, was a prolific and influential Austrian composer of the classical era. Already competent on the keyboard and violin, he composed from the age of five mm -hmm. and uh, performed before European royalty. At 17, Mozart composed many of his best-known symphonies, concertos and operas, and uh, portions of which uh, of the Requiem, which was uh, largely unfinished at the time of his early death at the age of 35. The circumstances of his death have been much mythologized. But he and, was uh, such a prolific performer. Yes, indeed. Um, he died on December 5th yeah. in 1791. Incredible person there. Uh, you should check him out online and find out more and listen to some of the music. You will recognize some of them from soundtracks of movies. Now, on December 5th, 2013, Nelson Mandela, South African lawyer, politician, first president of South Africa, Nobel Prize laureate, died. Now, he was a non-violent anti-apartheid activist and philanthropist who became South Africa's first black president from 1994 to 1999, becoming actively uh, involved in uh, everything anti-apartheid, you know, beginning in 1962. He spent 27 years in prison for political offenses. In 1993, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for efforts to dismantle the country's apartheid system. For generations to come, Nelson Mandela will continue to become, uh, to be a source of inspiration for civil rights activists and so many others worldwide. Mm -hmm. Of course, on December 5th, 2013, at the age of 95, he died at his home in Johannesburg. Wow. Mm. And of course, uh, yesterday, well, yeah. during the weekend, it was honored yes. once again at his 100th birthday. Yes, indeed. Um, you know, post, of course, posthumous yeah. birthday, and it Global was really, really citizen, nice. Uh, citizen's concert. Very it nice. It was amazing. Very nice. Now, this week in history, on December 5th, 2008, exactly 10 years ago, mm. O.J. Simpson, nicknamed The Juice, is, and uh, of course, he 
who of course went to jail. Yes, of course. And uh, he was a <laughs> broadcaster, actor, advertising spokesman, and convicted robber. He was sentenced to 33 years in prison for kidnapping and armed robbery. December 7th, 1941, a day which will live in infamy. That's how President Roosevelt described Japan's sudden undeclared attack on the U.S. naval station at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. Now, Japan sought to prevent the U.S. Pacific Fleet from interfering with its military adventures in Asia. Now, the air assault killed 2,403 Americans and destroyed a number of battleships and other vessels. All right, thank you very much, Yomi and Siti. Okay, so here in the kitchen with Chef Ofer, and she's yeah. making rejuvenated rice. rice. Just in case you're wondering what rejuvenated rice is, please do the horns and see. Okay, the thank horns. You. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just picture this scenario. You have boiled rice, plain mm. white rice from dinner, yeah. and you feel like eating fried rice, and there's no stew. So just get your veggies, toss them together, and create. And voila! Food is ready. Wake it up. Yeah. Doesn't or wake that up look Nigeria. Look it at does. that. Yeah, it does. Told you. It looks really nice, guys. And it tastes as good as it looks. I'm not yeah. joking. Not because I'm in the kitchen, <laughs> but it actually <laughs> does taste really good. And alongside our rejuvenated rice, we're having fried plantain and fried beef. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the browning. Yeah, they're, okay, so I'm just going to, you don't know. Don't let it burn. Yeah, I'm not going to let them burn. But you're not going to hold me responsible for the other ones. I told you it was brown. You said it was burning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so let's talk about the process for the rejuvenated okay. rice, basically. Okay, we put in onions, garlic. Mm. Let, we allow the fry a little. Then we added in the carrots, runa beans, and bell pepper. Mm. Then spiced it up a little, seasoned it a little, then put in the rice batch by batch. Okay. Then tasted for seasoning, extra seasoning. Mm. Then the last that came in was the sweet corn. Yeah. yeah. So the peas will actually be for garnish because okay. they are pretty soft. soft so if you put, okay. put them in here, they will mash up. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Great stuff. And it's always better to use your stock from either your chicken yeah. or your fish or your beef or your turkey, whatever yeah, protein so while you're, you're using. While you're adding your seasoning, you're adding a little bit of the stock mm, and tasting it. Yeah. To Especially if you're working with basmati rice, because you yeah. know, it like, gets really yeah. soft. You don't need too much yeah, water. Yeah, don't need too much water. Yeah. All right, so breakfast is about to be served, people. Mm -hmm. And we have so much more on the show, guys. You got to stay tuned for this one. The second half of the show begins in a bit. Hello and good morning, people. It's the first edition of Wake Up Nigeria this week. Woof! <laughs> Another week has just begun, the first week in December. Yeah, the first hour has already gone by. Yeah. Uh, it's Monday morning if you're still home, if you're supposed to be at work. <laughs> well, yeah. Get thumbs moving. Up, thumbs up to you, but get, get moving. moving. Uh, but we're streaming live, so if you have to be out, we're on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook at TVC Connect right now. And of course, if you need to participate in the show, you want to use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on yes. Twitter, Facebook, and on Instagram. We have quite a lot coming up on the show. Later on, our very own MM will be giving us some simple tips for an easier life on life hacks. Yes, indeed. And of course, we're going to be having a business discussion yes, very shortly. And Trisha Biz is going to be joining us on the show yes, to talk indeed. about uh, how to make sales this Christmas season. Yes, indeed. All those hampers and. Um, Other things. It's not just about hampers at Christmas now, you me, really? Yeah, well, <laughs> whatever you're trying to sell this Christmas season, Trisha Biz is going to be showing you how. Yes, indeed. The Honorable Commissioner for Information and Strategy for Lagos State is joining us in a bit to give some important information to us. You need to stick around for that. Mm -hmm. And of course, for our social media segment, uh, it's the first Monday of December. Mm. And so we're asking, how can we make um, Christmas Better superb for you? Yeah. For you? It's all about serving you. We want to serve you. Hmm. We want to yes, make we <laughs> yes, So we, we want to make dreams come true. Wow. So what do, you, what do you want for Christmas? Yes, indeed. Yeah. What is your wish? What wish do you what have? What should Santa for no, do but for I you? think before we start to ask people, we should ask ourselves, what do you want for Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? <laughs> what, what do you want, do you you want know, for you Christmas? Know, you know, people would ask, when somebody is gay, tell you to ask, that person has a solution provided for you. You know, God, it's just like God, he asks, what do you want? So you're meant to say, ask him. 
Uh, what do you want? Your yeah, hand just did it early. Answer. What do you want? You mean Aditi? You yeah. remember, yes. you remember when, God, when God asked somebody what he wanted? He said he wanted wisdom. So just yeah. ask for wisdom. <laughs> More knowledge. More motivation, that's what you should be asking. Okay, so there's this, there's this oh, trading really joke really. for quite a very long while that a girl asks you for money and you are complaining. You ask her what she wants and she says she wants money, you are complaining. Mm. What do you want her to ask for? I Wisdom, don't knowledge, and understanding. <laughs> <laughs> are you God? No, <laughs> when really, girl asks you something, mm -hmm. she's going to ask for money. Mm -hmm. then uh, but like you've been saying now, but where wisdom is profitable. You know, wisdom mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, what you need. But it's what I you need. <laughs> but like you've been saying now, but where wisdom is profitable. You know, wisdom mm -hmm. is. Uh, you know, what you need but is what I you need. Really <laughs> wish, <laughs> so, but, but the thing is, the kind of platform we have mm. is we can actually join together people who have wishes and people who can grant wishes. Mm. Right now, you never know who could grant your wish. So well, tell well, us I, what I your have wish, a wish is. That I would like someone to grant. Oh okay. yeah, let's start. Let's start. I'm, a, I'm very selfish like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Okay, please, someone grant my wish. I'm not going to say, but no. uh, why didn't you want to say? If ah. you if you want to know, please yeah, uh, hit want, me if up. If you want to know MM's yeah, uh, wish, just uh, hit her up. My, because I have to. Because I I mean I have to be able to. Um, someone has to meet my own need for me to be able to meet someone else's need. <laughs> Are you sure about so, that? Yes, it really. Yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, true, so I know true. that someone out there can grant this wish for mm. me. I'm hoping to be able to. Okay, I feel like keeping it to myself now. Oh my wow. gosh, I built it up. Um, well, we started a campaign in August, sorry, trying to get 30 girls into school. We haven't been able to raise everything yet, but oh, the wish okay. is that by the end of the year, we'll be able to get all those kids into school. What exactly do you need? Uh, we need 30,000 naira per child. Oh, know? right, yeah, right. For 30 so what kids. about books? Uh, we, we have people donating books, school bags, stationery, we have all that. But just getting the tuition fees hasn't been easy. But yeah. hopefully, before the end of the year, we'll be able to grant a kid's Christmas wish. That's great. We need, we need, we need more of that. Uh, that was, mm. That's uh, what she's saying exactly. The idea for the global citizen is about, yeah. you know, we, we, we need poverty. to, yeah, we need yeah, to, we need to do our best to give back because that's the only way, you know, we, we, we can't have too many poor people and mm. expect to be rich as a nation. So let's, let's, let's help where we can. Very Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. Now the holiday season is upon us and it's a great time for us to capitalize on the needs of those around us and rake in some money, make some good sales this period. Trisha Ikpomoba is popularly known as Trisha Biz. She's a business coach and entrepreneurship advocate. Now she is going to be discussing this topic with us. Welcome to the show, Trisha. Thank you, Good morning. All right. Now it's Christmas. Everybody wants to make a quick buck yes. this December. So what are the tips you can give us to make sure we make some sales this December? Okay, I think first of um, business owners need to know that Christmas is that holiday that has the highest sales in you know all year round so during Chris christmas is like a one trillion dollar wow um holiday yes mm -hmm. um closely followed is black friday slash cyber monday okay. um so this is the time where you can make money it's never too late mm. um so quick tips i think the first thing is you need to look out for partnerships okay right so christmas is a season where we gift Okay. Right. So if you have retail products, you need to ask yourself, how can my products get into a gift box or a hamper basket, mm. etc. So begin to look out for organizations who will gift mm. or gifting companies or consultants who begin to create gift boxes and sell out okay. and ensure that your product is going into one of those. Packages. Right. Yes. Your product needs to get into homes because we would gift. Um, another tip that I think is useful is you need to look like Christmas. Mm. Yes. What do you mean by look like Christmas? Fantastic. So um, if you go into some stores now, you see that the decorations are up. They're beginning to use Christmas colors. Yeah. Your red, your yellow, your green, etc. Because it's so selling is psychological, right? And because Christmas season is emotional for a couple of people. That's why. So last night I was driving by um, VI mm -hmm. and that popular street. It was like a carnival. People were there taking pictures at 10 p.m. Okay. by the Christmas decorations, you know, so if you have an online store, bring Christmas into it. Mm -hmm. Your packaging can take on Christmas look and feel. Okay. And that way, so that way, even if we didn't hope to buy or we didn't want to buy, mm. somehow we see it and we like it and we want to buy, okay. right? And another thing you can do is look at bundle offers. Hmm. Yes. Bundle offers. Bundle offers. So for instance, you sell individual items. So you sell this tropilo okay. and um, this 
and the couch as well. Okay. So how can you put them together? I call it a Christmas deal okay. and give us at a certain percentile off. Okay, okay. Right, so that way you're selling more SKUs or you're moving more volumes mm. and you're making money and to us it looks like a very great deal. Okay. Yes. So I, I, I like the way you've put them into very simple you know, terms. First of all, look out for partnerships. Then uh, you said, uh, the second one was, um, look like Christmas. Look like Christmas. Yes. Then bundle offers. But I feel like it should have started before now. You should have started thinking about this before now. Mm. What do you say to that? Christmas shopping starts ideally the third week in November. Okay. So people start before, but it starts in the third week in November. So you should have planned your Christmas sales or Christmas promotions or campaign mm. from last month. Mm. So those who haven't started, they've lost the, out on some sales, but it's not too late mm. because um, according to statistics, 40% of shoppers, we are late shoppers. So we'll begin to shop from the 20th. Wow. Yes. 20th of December. Yes. So 24th oh, and 25th are very high days to sell. Mm. So some people actually shut down, oh, it's Christmas, I need to go on a holiday. Wow. But I actually advise sell through Christmas mm. and take a break first week in January, second week in January and mm. come back. Because there are many of us who... All right, welcome back. Now, uh, debunking rumors, uh, of course, is one of the major things that uh, <laughs> a, a ministry of information uh, tries to do by giving it the right kind of information out there. And the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Strategy in Lagos State, Honorable Kende Bangwetan, is uh, joining us to talk about uh, the online platforms in Lagos. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Honorable <coughs> Commissioner. It's a pleasure to be here. You're very welcome, sir. So. Um, Usually, well, what, uh, what you, you, one usually finds is that sometimes a rumor breaks, and usually it breaks online with this uh, social media age. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things people should do is to go to credible platforms where they can then get the right information or the exact uh, um, facts about whatever it is has, um, that has happened. Of course, that's what you're trying to achieve uh, by joining us this morning, sir. Yes, sir. The other idea is to you know, recognize the fact that um, Information has changed in terms of the rapidity of dissemination and in terms of the sources of dissemination. And it has become very important for credible organizations <coughs> with responsibility to people to provide information to come and play in that space. Mm. Now, the Lagos State Government recognized this uh, about six years ago and been trying to catch up. But consider the rate at which uh, social media platforms are coming on, uh, in which individuals themselves are becoming active on the social media space and, and realizing that media has moved essentially uh, from the traditional concerns of TV, radio to now online and social media. Uh, like, uh, there are 162 uh, mobile phones right now in, in the country. We feel we have to play more active role there. Mm. So what we've done is to revamp the website and provide more information and enable people to, to, to get accurate authentic information about what is happening in legal states, you know, right on their Twitter handles or on their Facebook or by visiting the website of Lagos State Government. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very critical because for you to function in this city today, you need to have information. Uh, for example, if you look at the website today, it tells us that on Wednesday it's likely to rain. Mm -hmm. So you, you already know that on Wednesday when you're leaving home, you may need to take an umbrella along with you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, is how people are able to live their lives. Uh, on the website right now, we have the retail prices of of goods and services in our markets. Mm. So you, as a bachelor, you want to plan what you are going to, uh, to the grocery store, you need to know exactly what are the prevailing prices. So this, the website is essentially now more, more than just um, promoting Lagos State government yes, activities. It's, yes. it's now Provide more social, authentic, engaging people. Engaging people. Mm. So, uh, and, and we now have what we call, you know, uh, a, <clears throat> it, about 10 chat lines now where you can even get information about Lagos State. So it's not just that we are giving information, we are also waiting for those who may want to have inquiries. So the whole idea is, we are at a time when we are get, getting to the yellow side period, we are at a time when we are in a political campaign period, when interpretation of facts and figures becomes even very, very important. Mm -hmm. So we need to constantly dish out the facts and figures as we know it, so that people will be harmed you know, with the required statistics to be able to engage, to be able to use it to, to analyze, and to be able to understand what's happening around them. So yeah. I, I would like to find out what the exact uh, website address is, then also the exact handles, so that uh, you know, there's no 
uh, mistakes made. For example, uh, for, for the website, www.legostate.gov.ng. Uh, okay. um, for the Facebook, it's at follow LASG. Uh, at Twitter, it's at follow LASG. And on Instagram, it's Lagos G O V T. All right. Uh, and these are running as we speak. Lagos uh, G O V T. That's, That's for on Instagram. Instagram. On Instagram. So basically, I mean, for, for um, the uh, benefit of the public, it's uh, lagosstate.gov.ng. That's G O V.ng. Uh, that's the authentic mm. Lagos State website. Yes. And then uh, at, uh, on Twitter, it's at follow LASG. Mm. On Facebook, it's follow LASG. And then on Instagram, is Lagos GOVT. Mm. And you can get accurate information from Lagos State mm. uh, from all those um, handles. And that's very important. And yeah, that basically is actually to encourage more people to come onto that website, you know, and use the information. Um, we, we, we have various channels. We use Lagos Television is there, and Radio Lagos is there. And every day we, we put out not less than 20 press releases, which are put into the traditional media. But we think now that, consider that we are trying to build a new community, a virtual community, that share information concerning how to run Lagos. Uh, now, we are encouraging traffic into that place. Uh, uh, we believe that uh, if we can target one million uh, this year, by December this year, uh, we think we'll be able to achieve our purpose. We are talking about 22 million Lagosians, and we believe that 2.9 million among them are actually active on, on, on the social media and on online. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to get started with like, 1 million of them coming onto our virtual community to share information about what Lagos is doing, and then be able to use this information to run their lives. And we want to also thank many Lagosians that have been able to come to us. Uh, uh, by, by our visits, uh, our ranking is going on every day. Uh, but ni ni we're 97 right now in Nigeria ranking. And that is the, the, the state that has the highest ranking right now in, in using the, the, the STEM Rush uh, program. So we think that the, the reason for coming is to actually appeal to Lagosians, you know, to come onto the website, to use this website, to join us in building a virtual community where we can share up to the real on-time website to use this website to join us in building a virtual community where we can share up to the real on-time information about Lagos. Um, information I, I believe a lot of people need is information about emergency services, uh, talking about the fire service, talking about uh, ambulances and healthcare yeah. and things like that. Do we have that kind of information? Yes, of course the there is. You no, know, we have in fact the emergency agency numbers, not just the standard one of six seven six seven okay. that you have. We are now taking care of other agencies that require, that provide, Las Ambos, for example, okay. you know, are the fire services, we've broken them down. Mm -hmm. So if you go on the website now, you'll find more specific uh, organizations and their numbers so that it's easier for you to be able to, re to respond to em emergencies. Mm -hmm. What's well, our response, yeah. response time, uh, estimated response time? Uh, if you fire? send a message on the website or to one of these numbers, how quickly do we get a response? Minimum of 30 minutes, mm. okay. because we now have, we have a command and control center with about 50 people taking calls all the time okay. uh, from people. Okay. And once you call this number, it will be, it will be reported to okay. them immediately. Mm. So we want people to use this information more and to come into this community, you know, sign up and be part of us so that we can get real accurate information. So there's no reason for anyone to engage in rumors. Mm. Mm. There's no reason for anyone in Lagos to be putting out fake news. And we must commend the online community, the bloggers. They have acknowledged that they are using this resource and it's been helping them a lot. I mean, many people who run online newspapers, you need very good, accurate news. And you can come here and up, 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 upload from, from us. That's why we are here. So the idea is let us have a virtual community where there's information that is accurate, authentic, so that people do not have any reason whatsoever to rely on fake news to run their lives. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Honorable Commissioner, for, for giving us uh, that relevant information mm. uh, here on the show. Of course, I'm sure that a lot of our viewers will uh, check out the website. They'll take your word for it, <laughs> and they'll also be asking questions as well. We, we know that our viewers are very, very active on social media. I believe TVC2 will, will be part of it. Oh, of course. Of we'll course. Uh, we're, we're definitely a part of it. All so right. for all your hard work in Lagos State, we want to reward you this morning, sir. <laughs> uh, we shall be taking you to the kitchen, yes, sir. where yes, sir. you'll be in uh, Sampling something special Please. that we nice. made. I'm actually sir. hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for breakfast, sir. Please let's. You're welcome, sir. Good morning, sir. All right.
Right. This is the Honourable Commissioner. Yes. Please have a seat here. Yes, yeah. sir. This Welcome is Chef Offer. She gives everything for free. You're not going to pay. Uh, <laughs> Hannah, to meet you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please sit, sir. Please take okay. a seat, sir. Thank you. All right. Why did you give so, me a point? Um, I don't understand. Chef Offer has made this delicious rice for you. It's yeah. called rejuvenated rice. Right. With plantain and beef. <laughs> All right. So we'd like you to try it mm. wow. and enjoy. This looks amazing. Yeah. And while that is uh, happening, <laughs> while that is happening, <laughs> she should mm -hmm. be telling us how she put it together. Oh yeah, yeah okay. okay rejuvenated rice is just when you have leftover boiled rice mm. that you don't want to, to go to waste, no stew. So you just get some veggies, toss it together, put the rice inside, spice it, season it, and voila, fried mm -hmm. rice. Uh -huh. Fried rice, very nice. Very how long, nice, very how long nice. does it take to prepare this? Less than thirty minutes. Oh wow! Oh. Yeah. Chef yeah. Ofer, well done. Right, I hope there's more today. for us. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's nothing. Please, please, please have a taste. <laughs> okay, you know so uh, you know while we are um, yes, sir. tasting the rice, we shall also be getting ready to close the show. Big thank you to our friends over at Homely NG for the kitchen accessories as usual on the show. Yes, indeed. And a big shout out to Fola at Fola's Place for the hairstyling. We appreciate you. And there's so much more that we have in store for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, but there's also some information coming up immediately after the yes, show. Am I right, Emma? Yes, there is. Um, oh, so right you after have the to, show. Okay. Yeah, you have to keep. Stay tuned, people. Stay tuned. Okay. You don't want to miss what, out what on the deeds that, that I'm, we I'm have. Wondering. Fingers crossed. We are, you know, building momentum for this <laughs> gist. Yes, indeed. So you gotta right. stay tuned <laughs> so for it. Don't change the channel. Am I the only one that doesn't know what's going on? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Your <laughs> doesn't know, but okay. we So, what do you think? What do you think? This, what do you think about yeah. the food? Nice. Mm. Oh, he's he's entering. Do you, have, do you have a restaurant? Online. Online, I have online, online restaurant. restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I can that. deliver to you. Oh. <laughs> All right. You, Cerise Pink has done it again. Yes. yes. And we have to wrap up now. Yes, uh, we shall be back again tomorrow for another show yes. at 7 a.m. Same time. Well done, Jeff. Have a great Thank week, you. people. Take it easy.